Good morning, everyone. This is Linda. I hope all is well with you and your family on this beautiful day. I'm a little moist, <laughs> yeah, because I've been out here in my garden, and really, I've been just having a good time all by myself. Well, I got company. I got a lot of living plants all around me and I feel their energy I tell you I feel their energy but um I just wanted to stop in and uh, share some of my morning with you all um, I just wanted to share that I'm harvesting I was harvesting my lunch y'all this is my lunch and I'm harvesting some kale, kale. So I'm harvesting some uh, walking stick kale and thousand head kale. And those two seeds is from Baker Creek. Yeah, so I'm gonna share. L let me get one for you, hold on, hold on. So this is just a couple of my beautiful leaves amazing amazing <laughs> i am so happy with them and um i'm going to now i harvest from four plants i still have five more plants of maybe even six you know it could be more really <laughs> yeah but i do have more plants and they are in that welcoming committee bed i have some walking stick kale over there and i have some thousand head kale over there but you know i'm gonna do that for another day but for right now i'm gonna harvest i have harvest this kale and i'm going to yeah the butterfly she's flying all over uh, i'm going to bring it inside and i'm gonna chop them up get it all together and i'm gonna put it in my instapot yeah because I want to eat quick. <laughs> I'm going to put on some cornbread and I'm going to fry some chicken wings for today. That's what I'm going to do. It's Tuesday. I can have some chicken today. <laughs> so that's the menu. I'm going to have rice for somebody who wants some rice. I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. But first, if you are not subscribed to the channel, Hit the subscribe button. I will be sharing my Zone 9 garden. Yay! 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 <laughs> Let's get on with the video. Okay, family. So, here am I with my walking stick kale and thousand head kales. They are some gorgeous plants. So I have two in one 17 gallon containers and two plants in another 17 gallon container. They are very um, wonderful, wonderful plants. Of course, they are brassicas and this is the brassica season. And of course, you know I fed them 511 and super juice every 10 days. So this is my vegetables. Of course, I have some green onions, white onions, bell peppers of all colors, garlic, celery. Yeah, family, it's all in there. I like to chop up a lot of vegetables and put them in freezer bags, put them in my freezer and I use them when I need them and have them ready for when I'm ready. But listen, y'all, I want to share this with you. <laughs> this is my drink for today. Let me pull this down a little bit. Yeah, this is my drink for today. This is apple juice and Stella Rosa peach. <laughs> Yay, Stella Rosa peach. Guava, baby. Guava. Mm. So I wanted to share with you all how I uh, cut and take my greens off the stem. So this is one um, of my um, thousand head kales. That's her. Yeah, this is her. She's really long. But anyway, this is what I do. I just take it and it's 
is fold uh, away from me and I just break it off here wherever I want it to go and I just tear down that's all and that's how I take it off the stem yeah and <clears throat> this is what I do and really I don't take no order no right or wrong way to do this and I just cut it that's all Now, this is going back in the water because I'm going to clean them again with salt again after I get them all cut up. All right. Now, family, this is me uh, <laughs> hoping that all of my greens that I chopped up is going to fit in my Instapot. Well, I have a nine quart Instapot and baby, she took them all. She took them all. As I was very happy about that. And I have some sautéed vegetables and butter at the bottom of my Instapot. But as you see, um, well, you will see, I'm going to add more seasoning in this. And there is no meat in this pot. All right, guys. So I got all of those greens into this Instapot. And now I'm going to, now I do have some sautéed um, seasoning in the bottom, but of course, I'm going to do up some more. And I'm going to cook it for 30 minutes, and then I'm going to open it, and I'm going to do it again. But I'll share it. All right, you know, got it on here. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's get some time on this baby. Um, let's see here. All right, so now she's on and she is preheating now. So let's get on with these greens though. <laughs> All right guys, I'll be back. All right family, so I'm gonna harvest some um, Mullen for my grandson. Let me get this and get some of these leaves. Probably get about four so Jody can make a nice um, container for him so he can have some. Let's get some mints now. So this is some spearmint over here. We can, uh, let's see. It's good looking, good looking spearmint. Yeah. So <laughs> sometimes um, Jada, when Jada is in the garden with me, I always try to. Um, Stimulate her mind, not just in what I'm doing in the garden. I want her to know some things, right? So like my grandmama, what she used to do is some of the things I do today, like <laughs> I don't label. <laughs> she did that. <laughs> yeah. So this is lemon balm. This is lemon balm. Now, I don't have to harvest any of my Moringa or um, none of my um, uh, uh, lemongrass. Look at that, y'all. She's a rose in there. She's a rose in there. <laughs> and the, the lemon balm just took over the thing. Um, and I don't have to harvest no le any lemongrass because I have some in the house. Let me share it with you. Of course, that's my lemongrass. She's been here a long time and she's huge and she's beautiful. And uh, yeah, she's awesome. So I do have moringa inside and I have 
lemongrass, so we don't need to harvest that. I want to share the difference between spearmint and peppermint, but guess what, guys? I don't have any peppermint in the garden. Wow. Let me see another spot. Wait, 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 wait. Because all of this, all of this is spearmint. It's a spearmint. Yeah. So this is what I've been saying to Josh. This is from my Jamaican sorrow. That's my uh, dehydrated Jamaican sorrow. I have some in here for him. I have some little bags. This is spearmint and lemon, uh, lemon balm, the lemongrass. And I have some mullein. This is some moringa powder that I did. 92622. Uh, yeah, those are she could put that in that bag. And she also gonna have um, I'm sending her some lemons and oranges, and that will be for his teas. Yeah, that's for my grandson. Yeah, he got that thing, y'all. He got that thing, but he's a strong, strong kid, so he's going to be all right. Yeah. All right, guys. There we go. That's for you, Josh. That's for you, man. <laughs> all right, family. So this is my lunch. Now, in my greens, no, there's no meat. No meat in my greens. I just wanted to taste the greens. That's all. Mm. Mm hmm. No. <laughs> I did fry some um, chicken uh, wings. Yeah. They got eight up, so I sliced some <laughs> chicken breast. This is my cornbread. And this. Was what the mailman brought to me today. <laughs> also, <clears throat> I have more of my apple and Stella peach. It's really good. But I want to thank you all for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs> Later, y'all.